Well, here's my invitation to the Lang Lecture coming up next month, The Gospel and the Gospels, uh, by Professor James Dunn, Emeritus Professor of uh, Durham University, a very, very eminent figure. We're, we're so blessed to have him coming as our Lang Lecturer this year. And he's addressing a topic of fantastic importance. Uh, how did the Gospel, preached by the first Christian missionaries, become the Gospel according to Matthew, Mark, Luke and John? Now, that might sound like a kind of rather abstruse sort of question, but it's not actually, because in the realm of uh, sort of popular discussion of Christian faith, uh, uh, popular thinking so quickly goes into the direction of conspiracy theory or cover-up. And one of the most popular ideas around at the moment out there, per, per, portrayed in the media in lots of different ways, is that the original Christian gospel was Gnostic. And that Gnostic spirituality was pushed aside and sidelined in favour of the spirituality represented by the four Gospels, which had all the kind of authority and uh, kind of um, uh, passion of the Orthodox Church behind it, which wanted to sideline this Gnostic spirituality. Now, you may have met that in various popular television programmes and so on. It just so happens, of course, that postmodern spirituality is essentially Gnostic. So here we have kind of a postmodern take on early Christianity, uh, saying we've got to do away with all this, this authority stuff, you know, represented by the four Gospels, and get back to this original Gospel which has been lost. Well, now, is that true? James Dunn is going to address that question, and it's such an important question for us. And indeed, there are some really interesting issues there. Why did the first Christians, uh, in the second century particularly, decide that they wanted to have four Gospels recounting the life of Jesus rather than one. Why four? And why these four? What was it about these four that really appealed to the first Christians and made them think that these four are the ones that really capture the authentic Jesus? Uh, it seems as though the first Christians actually were instrumental in inventing the book because you couldn't get four Gospels into one scroll. So they even invented this new way of putting things together like this book, all hinged at one edge. Uh, now this book actually is important because if you want to do some reading on this before the lecture, this is the book I think to go to. Graham Stanton, The Gospels and Jesus. Graham Stanton actually wrote an essay on that precise issue, Why the Fourfold Gospel? back in 1997 when he became uh, a Regis Professor at Cambridge, New Testament, and, sorry, Lady Margaret Professor. And in this book, there is one chapter devoted to this theme. It's chapter seven, Why Four Gospels? So if you wanted to do some reading to prepare for James Dunn's Lang Lecture, this is the one to go for. Chapter seven in, in Graham Stanton, The Gospels and Jesus.